This presentation addresses a very important concept, which is the concept of indexes. The concept of a database index is similar to the concept of a book index, which allows you to access specific content without having to go through all the pages of the book. In a database, then, an index is a structure that provides quick access to the records of a table, increasing the speed of operations and allowing you to search data without having to run through the entire table sequentially. Consider, for example, the customer table. If you want to search for the record corresponding to the name Christopher, you must run through each row until you find it. On the other hand, if you have an index defined by customer name, you can access the record directly without having to run through the whole table sequentially. Now that you've learned the concept of index, note what indexes are automatically created by Genexus and how developers can create their own indexes as needed. Genexus automatically creates indexes that not only allow efficient access to the tables, but also perform efficient referential integrity checks. Consider the structure of the attraction transaction. Note that attraction ID is the primary key, and country ID and category ID are foreign keys. Also note that in the KB Explorer window, below the transaction itself, you can see the associated table. We'll open it to see its structure. And we also see this Indexes tab, which shows the indexes that have already been automatically created by Genexus. All of these indexes have a name, the attribute by which the index is defined. Also, they have an order that may be ascending or descending, but which is ascending by default. Note the following primary index. This index called iAttraction over the primary key, attraction ID, is used to control the uniqueness of the record. That is, that there aren't two tourist attractions with the same identifier. But it also controls, for example, that when creating a tour to that attraction, the attraction ID value indicated in the tour previously exists as the primary key in the attraction table. Genexus automatically defines all primary indexes for the transaction's identifying attributes. Next, look at the iAttraction1 and iAttraction2 foreign indexes over the foreign keys category ID and country ID, respectively. These foreign indexes are also automatically created by Genexus and are used to efficiently perform referential integrity checks. So, for example, if we want to delete the category with identifier 2, this index checks that there are no related records in attraction with the value category ID equals 2. So these are the indexes that have been automatically created by Genexus over the attraction table. Consider the following. What if you need to make a list of tourist attractions in alphabetical order? It would be very convenient to have an index over the name of the attractions. So, we define a user index by the attraction name attribute. User indexes are, therefore, indexes defined by the developer to perform different searches efficiently. You may be wondering, why aren't these indexes also automatically created by Genexus? Simply because they are not necessary for making referential integrity checks. Remember that it is possible to sort a table by any attribute or set of attributes when necessary. Now that you know what a user index is, let's create one by the name of the tourist attractions. We click on the attraction indexes node, press enter, and the first thing we need to do is give a name to the new index. To follow the naming convention used in Genexus, we enter iAttraction3. Now, we indicate if this index accepts duplicates or not, that is, if it is a unique index. What does that mean? An index will accept duplicates when its values can be repeated. Think, for example, of the names of people that can be repeated. If we need an index to define an alphabetical order for people's names, then this index must accept duplicate values because people's names can be repeated. But if, on the other hand, you indicate that the index is unique, we will be defining that the value of that attribute, 
or set of attributes by which the index is being defined cannot have a repeated value. Genexus will automatically control the uniqueness of its value. In this case, the attribute or set of attributes by which the index is being defined is a candidate key because Genexus will control its uniqueness as it does with the primary key, although it's not the primary key of the transaction. All right, let's continue with this definition. To avoid repeating the name of the tourist attractions, this index is configured as unique. To do so, we press enter and indicate the attraction name attribute by which we want to define this index. We save and press F5 to see it running. Note that the Genexus Impact Analysis Report says the reorganization may fail if duplicate values for attraction name are found. We reorganize, we open Work With Attractions, and note for example that the Eiffel Tower has been entered. So, if we try to enter a new tourist attraction called Eiffel Tower, remember that it doesn't matter if you type it in lowercase. Genexus automatically controls the uniqueness of the attraction name and displays a message indicating that the name already exists. Likewise, by defining the corresponding unique indexes, we can control that no categories or countries with the same name are entered. Consider the following. Suppose that a tour is run by only one provider, and one provider runs a single tour. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship between both entities. How can this be represented in Genexus? We can think of a one-to-one -one relationship as a particular case of a one-to-n relationship, right? Because n represents many, and in particular, many includes one. So, the provider's identification attribute is added as a foreign key in the tour, although it could be done the other way around, as it is a one-to-one -one relationship. It must be checked that this value of supplier ID is not repeated in trip, and thus, we make sure that a tour or trip has a single provider, and that one provider is in charge of only one tour. But how can this be done? by defining a unique index over the foreign key supplier ID in trip. In this way, the supplier ID attribute will be a candidate key in trip, and Genexus will automatically control its uniqueness.